This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What is happening guys? We are Craig and Amy and you are watching King and It. And if you've watched our videos for a while then you'll be familiar with this beauty behind us called Custard. So this week we've decided to show you what a typical day in the life of living in this bus is actually like. If you're new around here, then welcome to our channel. This is what our regular scheduled content usually looks like. Are you for Jeff and real? We flippin' love a good old adventure. Whether we're trekking through Turkmenistan or living the high life in Monaco. Lol, just jokes, we couldn't actually afford anything. We'll take a one-way ticket to anywhere, please drive. Most of our challenges have been absolutely ridiculous, but we wouldn't have it any other way. We love to throw ourselves out of our comfort zones and truly experience places. Yeah! Is he gonna bite me? Even if that means buying a rickshaw in India and receiving a chocolate pie as a thank you. Oh, chapati. Sorry, babes. Captain Florida's met a baby and she's made him cry already. We live by our mantra, rule your own world get out there do your thing and don't let anybody tell you any different i'm never camping again <laughs> in following that mantra one day we had a delivery of a big yellow bus our diy skills were about as basic as using a potato peeler and somehow after 18 glorious months she ended up looking like this in our last series we were in scotland <laughs> <laughs> Scotland was très magnifique. We immersed ourselves fully into the Celtic culture. And if you ever fancy visiting Scotland, then you need to watch this series. Just look at the scenes. Custard was so excited, she even started flying. At the end of last year, we had to cut our van life adventure short because of coronavirus. We took the time during lockdown to make some well-needed upgrades to the bus. Oh yeah, the bus is called Custard because she used to be yellow. Custard the bus, mate. Brand spanking you. Now she is 99% ready for the open road. But uh, we're going to have to wait for that. So this is the day in the life of a pair of van life wankers. Yeah. <laughs> Should we start this vlog then, Craig, or what? <laughs> <laughs> Her name is Custard. Custard. And she's a big green and creamy butter. Uh, 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 and actually, it's our home. The best home. But we can't go anywhere in her because of lockdown. So we'll just do some other stuff instead. Like eat custard. Custard. Morning lads. So this is how our days usually start. I'm up first, heating goes on. I do a bit of yoga and stretching and uh, Amy keeps sleeping. The best part about this new bathroom is the heater. So uh, when you go for your morning pee, always sit down pee as well, lads. You can't be standing up and peeing in this toilet. You get a lovely warm breeze. This bus is just about wide enough for a yoga mat. Don't really get more cliche than this, does it? Van life anchor and a yoga anchor. Next part of my morning is meditation. So I use Headspace, which is such a good app. Just sends me out in the morning, you know, I've got quite an active brain and it never settles down. And especially in the morning, it goes hundred miles an hour. So quick meditation and then some coffee. Starving. So at this point, 
I usually just start taking the screens off, the blackout screens, so that it lets more light in and Amy slowly wakes up. But sometimes I just go, breakfast for the boys! You alive, babes? Yeah. Let the world see your glorious face. Look at you. What is it, like seven o'clock? Look at your little curls. So cute. Would you like a coffee? Yeah. It's seven o'clock, yeah. No. Coffee then, yeah? Oh, <laughs> oh we got a pearl of the day, babes. You buzzing for the day, yeah. I just love waking up in this bus when the day outside is so bright and wonderful. It just puts you in such a good mood, doesn't it? it For like getting up and starting the day. I've got a wicked surprise for after breakfast as well. You're going to love it. Is it edible? Yeah, it can be. Really? It's a bit salty, but... So the screens usually live just under the duvet, but because we haven't got anything in the bus at the minute, we're just hiding them away and we're going to pop them under the bed. Show them on the bed works then, babes. So the bed just lifts up like this. Easy as. It's just on one massive gas strut. So usually underneath here, all our clothes go, well, all of Amy's clothes go under there. Guilty. So that's why they live under the sh sheets on the bed. So it's a bit of a faff, but they're totally worth it. Yeah, definitely. Because we've got so many, I can't even see you right now. Where's my glasses? <laughs> we've got so many windows, which I love. And people were like, you're going to black them out? You're going to tint them? No, because look at it. When the sun's beaming, it's such a wonderful space and it's so light. I didn't want to have to tint any of the windows. And I know people can see it in, but we've got little blinds and we've got the blackout blinds. <laughs> so strong. Gancho! <laughs> because the gas strut's so strong, we've got this little pin here, just slides into the bed frame to stop it popping up when we drive. In there, drive. It is drive. Where's the coffee? Keep the kettle, shift number one. You haven't got one of these bad boys. You need to get one. Rechargeable electric. Doofa. In an ideal world, we would drink proper posh coffee every morning, but realistically, we just do the instant stuff because we're lazy like that. But today, we got some special ones, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna go with some space side. Decaf. Let's do it. This is what I deal with every morning. Just make the coffee, bro. <laughs> Who's got a French press, like? I tell you who, king in it. <laughs> that smells, oh. Smell that, it's pure joy in the morning that is. Oof, it does smell like farts in there, doesn't it? You fart in the fridge again. You, you mean fine. fart, well I told you about farting in the fridge. <laughs> we like to say that we have healthy breakfast with loads of fruit and all that jazz, but we basically eat bagels every morning. Or crumpets. Or crumpets, yeah. In the shape of love hearts. Thumbs up this video if you like breakfast. Yeah, I drive. Oh, fuck. These sofas aren't finished. You remember when we said the van was 99% ready? We still need to cover the sofa, so don't judge us, okay? It's not perfect, but we love it. Hey, do you want to know what your surprise is after brekkie? Yeah. We are going to do some cold water swimming. Uh, no. <laughs> well, you loved it in Scotland, so come on. Yeah. We'll take the scooters down to the beach, it'll be lush, we'll have a nice refreshing dip. I haven't been outside yet. Look at this, this is your face after the last swim. That could be you. Have you got your swimming cap? Before we continue with the video, we'd like to thank this week's sponsor, Squarespace. Five reasons why you need a website. Number one, a website makes you look professional. Do you have a website? No. 
Do you have a website? Why, yes, I do. And I built it myself. Ooh. Number two, your website can attract brand new customers. Look at these beautiful cupcakes I made just for you. Number three, make things easy by hosting all of your content in one place. Number four, a website can encourage customers to contact you. Shkumila, does this jumper come in cream? Yeah. Thank you. And number five, it's not as hard or as expensive as you'd think. You just choose your website layout and design a template using customizable fonts, colors, and stock photos. Add the tools you need, for example, an online shop or a booking system perfect for a small business, and start to reach your audience with personalized email campaigns. The design options are endless, lads. So check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash kinginit for 10% off the purchase of your first website or domain. You, you are, are welcome. welcome. <laughs> Meet Harry and Marv, aka the Wet Bandits, our electric scooters. Living in a bus is sometimes hard to park close to cities or popular spots. We did a wine tour in Bordeaux and we were steaming and we ended up buying them whilst we were drunk. They save on diesel costs and they're just so much fun to ride about. To the beach. Get me wrong it's a lovely day but if the sun wasn't out it, it legitimately could be snowing it's that cold it's icy and Craig loves to do this and he loves to like drag me into doing it as well <sighs> oh do you love the ocean babes I do like the ocean in the Philippines Craig or in Thailand not in cold Wales it's what is it February you should be more patriotic than that I feel it's a gorgeous beach, but um, I don't want to swim with the whales. I just like the t-shirt. All right, babes, here we go. Oh, I don't want to cry. Now, all you have to do, all you have to remember is just to breathe through it. The pain is temporary, but winning is forever. <laughs> My feet are already frozen. So this is the part that's going to hurt the most now when you get your feet in. But just breathe through it. But, but it's, it's cold, it's cold, it's cold, but keep going. Oh, no, 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 no. no, it's not as cold on your body because there's no, no fat on your feet. No, it hurts. Ah, that's pain, that's pain. Come on, babes, you can do it. Well, quick then. <laughs> Jesus! She's going. This is worse. See, it's not as bad when you get past the feet. It's oh my right. god, oh my god. Okay, okay. She's not so bad, is it? You got ah. this, babe, you got this. Easy. Iceberg, right ahead. <laughs> You're doing it, babe. You're doing it. Yeah, but it doesn't feel good. Craig. Okay, go on, go on three. Ready? One, two, three. Shut up. Breathe, 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 breathe. You're all right. Oh. Do the babes. Oh my god. You're salty. <laughs> You're not supposed to swallow it. No, I wasn't supposed to go in my mouth. Three, two, one. Do your thing. Oh, just complete show off. Complete show off. <laughs> <laughs> so good. I can't feel my legs. <laughs> yeah, it's got, they go pretty numb. How good is that though? Oh. Do you feel alive, babes? Oh. <laughs> Let me out. <laughs> well done, babes. <laughs> Do you have a good time, babes? Uh, I wouldn't say I had a good time, you know, but I am a little bit more awake <laughs> now than I was previously. I got a plan. Let's go back to the bus, cup of tea, hot showers. Oh, yes! Home sweet home. First things first, I'll pop the heater on and the hot water, which usually takes about 20 minutes to heat up before it's ready for a shower. Okay, toilet roll um, going out because that get wet. I'm just going to open this vent and it's just glorious. It's so weird. Like I still can't believe we've got hot water in our bus that we travel around in. It's so good. Okay, this is needed, Holmes. Oh, take me glasses. 
Oh, it's delightful. Obviously, this is a van shower. So we've only got nine litres of hot water. So you kind of have to give yourself a little wet down, stick all your scrub on, and then rinse it off. Otherwise, the hot water won't last. But for our water, we do have 110 litres. It's situated in the boot and we have just downgraded because we did have 220 litres and although it was okay we did use it, it just took up too much room. Oh, it's lovely that soap, Craig, that they've given us. Instead of like drying out, you know, usually it can dry out the skin soap. Control. Stop peeing on the shower, man! <laughs> Towel, please! <laughs> Thank you. Look at you, you look clean and sparkling. Thank you. Lads, if you live in a van with a, with a missus, I beg your pardon. you're gonna find these everywhere. So annoying. So whilst Amy spruces herself up, I've had my shower for the day. I've been in the sea, so <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna give it a pass today. But I'm gonna make her some uh, ginger shots to wake us up ready for, to do some work. Fresh bit of jange, lemon juice, bit of black pepper, why not? Juge is on, here we go. So we're able to use the shaker with our inverter because it's a 3000 watter. So uh, let's give this a try. Unfortunately, this is a reality for me most days because uh, Amy wears wigs. Tell them why you wear wigs, babes. Many years ago, I was diagnosed with cancer um, and it sort of brought me into the world of wigs. So now I just like them because I can be whoever I want to be that day. I've got three different ones and Craig gets the pleasure of wearing them while I curl them on his noggin. <laughs> I've actually got three girlfriends, so... <laughs> Winning. <laughs> so usually we've got like a little handheld mirror that I used to get ready in the main part of the bus, but sometimes it's nice because it's so light in here. It's nice to use this for like makeup. There's a great little bathroom, isn't it? Mm. If you haven't seen it before, we've got custom king in it flooring, which matches the, the wrap on the outside. So it's got the king in it crowns in it. Are you posh? Epoxy resin. Posh as like. It's a bit lumpy, like, but really? good for you, isn't it? It smells very strong, like you should clean your bathroom with it or something. Lemony fresh. Slander bar. I'm going to do little bits. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Next up on the agenda, the table comes out and the work day starts. It might not look like it, but sometimes we do a bit of work. And when we do do work, and it's a sunny day like this, it's perfect. So we've got 300 watts of solar on the roof, and we've got an inverter underneath this seat so we can plug our laptops in and basically just work all day. In the winter it's a little bit more difficult but what we've got behind my driver's seat is two B2B chargers so if the batteries are low we just turn the bus on and it just revs up all the batteries. Keith the Kettle, second shift of the day. Oh coaster, lift, lift. I'm trying to act posh now on camera. No, he I'm not. You never always put. uses a coaster. He always puts hot things down, and I'm like, lift it now. So this is the part of the day where we do some emails, and uh, we get a lot from companies. We get some random requests. Yeah. As well. An example of one of the emails we got. We got one yesterday from uh, Levi Strauss, and we were like, yes, the they want to work with us. Levi's massive company. Lovely woman named Carol. She said, all you've got to do is um, spend your own three thousand dollars on the shop. Send me the confirmation that you've spent it, and then I'll refund you. Oh, she refund us then. And then she was like, and then send me your bank details. Okay. I was like, that sounds like a great deal, great Carol. Great deal. I'm in. Carol! <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the amount of spam we get through is mental. <laughs> so many dodgy emails. You're lucky your head's screwed on, babe. <laughs> I know. Lucky I can see this spam, Carol. I actually spent three grand. Was that a scam? Tell your fans what they want to know, love. Is YouTube your full-time job? Yeah, so we've been doing this for like six years now, full time. Um, and everything sort of around YouTube and the King and It brand, I guess, brings us in enough money to be able to go and like do this on the road and stuff. So maybe we should do another video like 
how we make money on the road. Yeah. But if you've got any questions about anything like money related or like how we do it, leave them in the comments. It's been a long road to get to this point for us. But yeah, from the beginning, we literally worked in jobs for two years, saved up enough money for our first trip. And over the last six years, it's kind of been like this. We like do well, we earn loads of money and then we don't have any money and then we learn loads of money. So yeah, it's a long road, but right now we're doing all right. Someone needs to get this kid fed because she's about to start a fight. Time for some lunch. Hello. You're starving, babes, yeah. I either need food or asleep. And oh. like, Craig, the thing is, on our average day-to-day -day life, we do, we, I do nap, like I do nap. And he won't let me do it today because we've got film stuff and I'm like, but that's fake then, isn't it? Because I really I should be having a sleep and you should be making this. Knob. <laughs> Go on, Chef Banzi. <laughs> I was wondering when that was coming. <laughs> Four out of ten. Ah? <laughs> so knowing part about living in a van is every time you cook, you gotta do the dishes. So hot water goes on. Who are you doing the dishes, babe? And then in 20 minutes, Craig gets to do the dishes. Ah, oh, rock, paper, scissors. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Yes. And our best of three. Nope. Oh, no. You win. <laughs> I like to buy random things, so I'm not going to tell you what it is, but you have to answer yes or no. Uh, I mean, I'll give anything a go, so let's have a look. We heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen, you <laughs> give anything <laughs> a go. Absolutely loving it. You he are, said you? it is on YouTube, it is on the internet. Half of our money goes on Amazon shite. Oh, it's good fun though, isn't it? She never sends it back. Either. I was actually looking at the day, you know you can buy Amazon undelivered parcels in bulk. You, you don't know what you're getting. Really? You can buy loads of them. Yeah, I thought that would be really cool to do. What on planet Earth is this? What is it? What have you got? Yes, look at that. What is it? Like you colour it's it in? It's a tattoo, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. It's, it's, a it's a whole sleeve. <laughs> um, it's supposed to come all in one. Oh my God. <laughs> Open it all. Proper sleeve. Yes. Oh, there's loads. We can all have one. No worries. So we oh. just pop that there, a bit of water, and that's you for... My mum will have a heart attack if I come on wearing this. <laughs> you Let's can do it. stick that one round your throat, <laughs> and then you put that one on your on your leg. Oh, clocks and eyeballs, classic. Okay. i go with that one. Well, we'll have that, and then, and then we'll stick that, like, on the bottom. How long do you think my arm is? <laughs> <laughs> Shh, which arm do you want it on? I don't actually know. N neither? <laughs> okay, so I'll do it on your right arm. Okay, hun, this isn't going to hurt at all. Let me just set up the office. To be fair, you did let me pierce your ears, so it's only right I let you give me a full sleeve. So yeah, my ears didn't fall off. That's the second one there that Craig did on last week's vlog. If you haven't seen it, <laughs> click up here. It was, it was a great success. Just to point out as well, this isn't something that happens every day in the van. We don't always get get tattoos. But... I don't always have this much fun. Craig <laughs> never really lets me, so loving today. Okay, if you just like to turn to me. Should that go on your shoulder, well, do you yeah, think? Well, yeah, it's the shape of your arm, isn't it? Do you even know what you're doing? Not a clue, no. I'm just, you know, you should get them in bubble gum at school and you just got to wet it, so. You disinfected your equipment today. Yes, yes, I did. You weren't looking. <laughs> Didn't even offer me a coffee. <laughs> what have you got to say about your um, TripAdvisor reviews? They're, they're quite shit. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go by that if I was you. <laughs> I'm a decent enough broad, you know. <laughs> Is it painful? Oh, so so. Ah. All right. Well, how do you feel? Oh, I can't really see it. It took a while, Craig. It did. It was, you know, it was a good ten hour in the seat. Does it look sick? It looks bloody wicked. <laughs> How we managed that then? <gasps> oh, I'm good at my job. Full sleeve, mate. Amazing. Oh my God. What? I look like an absolute. Let me see you. Oh, look <laughs> at you. Give us some of those guns. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why I've never got a sleeve before. But well, you look great. It looks brilliant. So just uh, wash it with a bit of the panther. Um, Should I call my doctor? And just no, no, your arm shouldn't fall off. It should be absolutely fine. Um, if you cut, if you have any minor discomforts, then uh, it's, it's tough. 
<laughs> Thank you. So it never goes like this, but our ideal afternoon would be to come back to the bus, enjoy the last of the sun, get out a book and just have some time to relax our minds and our bodies before it's time to make some dinner. Now it's time for our evening routine. What are we having? We're going to have a curry. Which kind? Uh, Thai red curry. Can you move your rugby off the table? Six Nations, 3 nil to Wales. Uh, by, by the way, Craig, you're cooking. Oh, so. um, I need to watch this though, for my country. Yeah, me too, so. Look at that. There's a pepper growing inside a pepper. Oh, we have a lot of them. No bum pepper. We're going to be doing a van life hacks video in the near future. Um, but just as a, a sneak peek, we picked this bad boy up. So all you got, got to do is like de-seed your veg. Never used this before, so I don't even know if it's going to work. It's massive though, so it's better or is it, it's not staying. So this is it. So you whack your onion on there. Let's and see. then you're supposed to just press it through. It doesn't work, so we'll send that back. Oh no! <laughs> is it that tough? <laughs> really? Maybe half it, Yeah, Craig. I think half an onion. I think I got carried away with the whole one, didn't I? Go on, go. you've got a tattoo on your arm now, go on. Oh, there you hey! go. Hey! Oh, good, yay! <laughs> wow, that's it actually incredible. Work. you just got to um, put smaller bits in. Take back your testimonial. <laughs> We couldn't get cliche enough with van lifers and we're vegan. <laughs> you might have worked that out from all the stuff we've been eating, but. Vegan baby! Oh, babes, that's lovely! Oh, the boys have scored again! Curry and Wales beating England. Can't really beat that, can you? <laughs> Cinema time! Catch up! Oh, <laughs> so, we keep the screen under the bed near the kitchen area we've got two little hooks that you just it just slots through hooks up there hooks up there oh, oh no the spice rack that is literally a blackout curtain that we got from cost like us about a tenner yeah and uh and then yeah the little projector which is a little bit more pricey projector just screws in there So we get a lot of people asking about our projector, don't we? So we'll just link it in the description. Yeah. Got the snacks ready, you babes. I have. Yeah. Shh. Shh. All right, lads, before we get lost in the film, we thought we'd end the video here. Say thanks for watching. If you've got any van life questions, leave them in the comments below. Um, but yeah, obviously this isn't an everyday thing for us, but these are the, most of the things that we do on a daily basis in the van, isn't it? Yeah, I guess so. So obviously we're not on the road at the moment. So when we're at home, Craig's best friend's dad owns a farm. So he stores it in one of his sheds for us, which is really lucky. Yeah. So just to put it out there, we've worked so hard to get to this point. Like for the past six years, we've been making YouTube videos. We've done the nine to fives. We've never really had any handouts at all. I used to work in a petrol station. <laughs> I used to cry when I had to go in. Like that's how bad it was, but we've changed our lives, haven't we? Yeah, just from hard work and, and sort of coming up with ideas and just following through. So if van life is something that you'd love to do and you've watched this video and you're like, this looks so comfy, you know, just put it out there and just make take the step and get if, it done. If we can do it, you can do it 100%. Like, yeah, as Craig said, like we've had no handouts, so we've worked for every single penny to try and make this happen, and we've done it. We own a bus, <laughs> like we we own this. So if you're brand spanking new around here and you've watched for this long, thanks so much. Yeah. And uh, make sure you press subscribe and press the little bell so you don't miss the next video. And if you are new, please go back and watch all of our videos because we've done some mad things, haven't we? Yeah, we have. But there's only madder things to come, lads. So yeah, always make sure, no matter who you are, no matter what you do, you've got one life, yeah? It's yours, you control it, you live it. And always remember to rule your own world. One, two, three, bye! bye.